So you, you want to play a track now, Will? Yes, yes. I wanted to play uh, Vintage Trouble. Okay. Because we were looking back on what we what we'd done and uh, going to see them live in Exeter was one of the better things. They're a very good live group, but um, I don't think they're going to be in the UK. They are going to tour Europe in the summertime, but it looks it looks as if. Um, they're not included in the UK. I don't know if that, that might that may change. We've tweeted to them. I'm awfully glad that they might not be including the UK. Why? Well, because why do they want to come to this disgraceful place? Oh, don't be like that, John. It's much better that they do Europe, but not England. You think? Yes. Well, well, well that's a strange thing to say. Well... Yeah, well... What, do you think all the bands should stop touring the England? Well, I don't think the England British... Would, England would end up even worse. I it? don't think the British people always deserve it. The British people don't deserve it? Not all the time, no. Well, but that's just my opinion. Well, what have the British people done to deserve this sad fate of being... Le- mm. I mean, Exeter hasn't benefited from being a little bit off the circuit. Some people would say... There's lots of bands around you get as far as Bristol, aren't there? Yeah. Well, that's not right. No. That doesn't help anybody. No. But you're saying now the whole UK is going to disappear from the circuit and all these American bands are just going to go to Amsterdam, Paris and Munich and go home again. Well, I, well, I hope that might be the case, yes. Why would that, what would be the benefit of that? Well, the benefit would be is to... Is, is, to, is that people that the British people would have to go to where they are oh we'd all have to go to Europe then yes you think that would be a good thing well that's what I would encourage so you you would like to go to Amsterdam and Brussels and all these other places yes I wouldn't encourage big bands to come to England well it's a cunning plan John but it's very complicated (laughs) well it's it's how it's my idea it's it might not be it might not be to everybody's taste, but that would be to my taste. But it's you think so? You think if if it if it, you think everybody in the UK yes is well able to say, well, forget about the UK as a music venue. It's all hopeless. Yes, we've got to go to Amsterdam. Yes, I or think it. I think or yeah, Cologne because or I think because I think people, I think the British people would would appreciate that more because they would have to organise what they're going to do. If 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 all these bands say they're going to come to us, then there's no sport in that, is there? Life would be too simple. Well, yes. Let's make it more complicated for people. Okay. Well, um, this is a very interesting idea, John. Well, I'll, I'll elaborate. I've never heard anybody suggesting this before, but I'll, I'll, I shall explore it because I'll elaborate on it if you like. Well, no, say, say a bit, say a bit more because. Well, it's because I just believe that if 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 the bands tour Europe and the continent, the continent, if the UK, if the UK people want to see these bands, yeah, then I believe that the UK, the British people, should be should should um, you know, organise flights and and they should and they should um. And 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 I think it would be very good. I think it would be very beneficial for, for for bands like Double Trouble not to come to the UK, for the British people to come to go to them. Okay, well that's very that's a very very interesting idea. I've never heard this suggested before. Because when it comes I'm down, I'm happy to, to explore it. When it comes down to it, I, maybe London. Yeah, London is slightly different, but but but. But when stars like Elton John has come to Exeter before, yes, we, we're so small that that we can't that Exeter can't cope with it anyway. So well, no, the traffic did grind to a halt, didn't it? So so anyway, he was sitting on the stage at the piano stool, tapping his fingers, saying, "When is the audience going to arrive?" Well, and we had to explain about the traffic. Yeah, but he 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 just thought he was so superior that he didn't have to sing. Any, 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 any of his new releases. Oh, he did. He did. Pre- he did promote his new songs. Well, well, that's 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 good for him then. But I, all I'm saying but is anyway. That all I, all I'm saying is that I believe that you think it would be it would be a good experience for the British people to yes. have to go to Dusseldorf if they want to see any American bands. Yes. Right. Yes, I think. Well, that's pretty clear. I think that would take a lot of stress off the UK. It certainly would. Um, and and I think people would get more out of it. Okay. Because if you say if you say to say if you say 
if you if if a father if if just say I had just say I had kids which I don't, but just say I had kids, which I don't, and I don't think I ever will neither. But um, but just say I did. It's much more beneficial for for me to take somebody to to um, Amsterdam or Paris or Dusseldorf to go and see these American bands rather than them coming to the UK because I believe that if I if if people had to travel to go to these events I, I believe that they would get more 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 out of it yeah it would be a sense of occasion well yes uh, no I think it would be more exciting that's oh. what that's why I'm making the suggestion okay but it's but all my all, all of what I'm saying is my own ideas so so the audience doesn't have to agree. No, but we'd, it'd be interesting to know how many how many people agree with you. Well, pro- probably not a lot. But well, we'll see. We'll see, John. Because uh, but it's not a silly idea. Right? No, no. But uh, it seems it seems to be the way things are going to a certain extent. For whatever reason, um, I don't know if the bands are travelling with pets, for example, mm. getting them around Europe into the UK. That might be an issue. Well, yes. So it's much more it's much more simpler for the British people to go to the bands. Yeah, yeah. So they just want to find somewhere somewhere pleasant on the continent where they can book in for a week, and the UK people will go to them. Yeah. For, for don't get me wrong. For that, I I know you I know you would need you would need for for some families because some families are quite big. They you would need probably a large amount of spending money. But all I'm saying is, in the long run, that in the long run, if you had to, if you had to think, well, I'm going to get the train to London, then I'm going to get, that, then I'm going to catch the coach to Heathrow. It gives, it gives you, it gives you and your family that that experience of travelling, and then you go, you know, you've got a specific purpose to actually go to 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 um to somewhere like Paris, Dusseldorf yeah. or yeah. America. Yeah. All right. Um, John, I think we've made I think we've made the point. I'm gonna play can I play the chat now. Okay. This is Vintage Trouble. They will be in Europe somewhere this summer. And uh this track is called Low Down Dirty Dog. <laughs> 